Um, hello, good morning. Um, we're running a bit late, so we're already five minutes late. Um, so we have uh, Kitaro Sakamoto from. Thank you for sitting in this session. My name is Keitaro Sakamoto from the marketing department of Morisawa Inc. I'm glad to talk about our Japanese language here in the Netherlands. Today I focus on an interesting condition of Japanese typeface, which is said to be complicated, but the topic is rather simple, so just relax and enjoy this talk. So the Netherlands has had a strong relationship with Japan. About 300 years ago, 300, 350 years ago, Japan had had no transaction, no trade with other countries. While we had been closed off from the world, only with the Netherlands, we kept connection. Because of that, only ships from the Netherlands were permitted to come and stay in Nagasaki, the western part of Japan. Reflecting this historical background, Nagasaki had been very influenced by foreign culture. Food is a good example. One of my favorite local food in Nagasaki is Nagasaki champon. Champon means complexity or mixed up. This Nagasaki champon is a kind of Japanese Chinese noodle, which has rich taste of pork bombo bros topped with meats and vegetables, its flavor is complex. So I want to continue this story about Nagasaki Champon. Let's move our focus to the interior of the Champon's restaurant. Look at that. The wall is covered up by the menu. Each menu is written in stripes of paper and attached to the wall. The characters on the wall seem to add an oriental flavor to it. So here are set menus. These are brand new. And is here champon. Additionally, do you see these are written in horizontal? Compared with that, the first one is written in vertical. Finally, some price are written in kanji with vertical, but others are horizontal with lot of numbers. I'm not joking, these kind of things are always happen in Japan. To order something, you have to look around and try to find what you like, like him. If you have a favorite one, you can learn it order quicker, but you must take a big risk of overlooking new menu attached to somewhere. You may find that some characters are not legible, like Latin uppercase I and lowercase L. But no one gives complaints because making an order in this restaurant is like adventure for guests. Of course, the restaurants serve good taste. I think this is the best example that typography creates the atmosphere in our lives. Let's get back to Japanese typography. Today in Japan, more and more customers give serious consideration on legibility and readability. Why? The reason lies in typographic environment particular to Japanese. So let me explain briefly about the, con the characteristics of Japanese language. The first one is a multitude of characters. Even in a single sentence, Japanese people often use kanji, which is ideographic characters, hiragana, katakana, Arabic numbers, Latin alphabets, and symbols. During the 12 years of elementary and secondary education, students learned most 1,800 characters. While those characters are enough to live a daily life, but our Japanese fonts contain up to over 23,000 glyphs. The second characteristic is the complexity of kanji characters. 
For example, this means tree. How about, how about adding one more tree? Guess what? Yeah. It means wood. Yes, simple rule. So, what about three trees? Forest. Yes, it's forest. The four trees? No, we don't have kanji with four <laughs> trees. Anyway, what I would like to mention in that, every character has to be designed in, in a small size of the square box. Japanese characters are basically not proportional, and each of them is required to be legible. Another example. There are so many characters which have similar shapes, but different meanings. This character means entering or to enter somewhere. How about this? Do you see the difference between them? It just mirror reversed image, but it, the right one means human. Both are pictograph. The left one comes from the shape which shows upward, upward direction. The right one is a symbol of human. Both kanji has different origin, but they became similar shapes through the process of reduction for a long time. Of course, we Japanese have a lot of different designed typefaces with overcoming many difficulties which I described. Japan may be known as a country with a higher life expectancy rate. You can see from this slide, it's comparing year of 1980 and 1235, uh, the situation of aging society also affects Japanese typography. For example, the text size of Japanese newspaper has become larger by 42% in these 20 years. However, as you are aware, the increase of text size causes a decrease of information amount. This leads to an increasing demand of customers who want to use a font which can maintain the information amount in a limited spaces, as well as readability of the text. In such situation, fonts called UD fonts were released. The concepts were based on universal design. Universal design is often taken into account, especially in industrial design in Japan. Under this concept, creators will complete their design of products or services so that any users can use them without any difficulty nor misunderstandings. It's like the bar which is easy to hold or flat floor of a platform and so on. The concept of universal design is also converting information, information design. The first font created under this universal design concept was developed for the display of electronic devices. It was a simple font which needed to have characters for a few words that were used in a simple item, such as remote control of TV. Since then, many font foundry in Japan has started to produce fonts based on concept of universal design, and it was no surprise that more and more customers requested for UD fonts which can be used for more varieties of situation including longer text composition. Morisawa's UD fonts were developed to answer their request. Let me talk about this, this just briefly. UD fonts derive from another existing typeface. The first point of optimization is a larger counter space of each glyph. This would prevent the counter from being filled when printed. Secondly, we made a change to the design of two voiced sound marks, which adjust the pronunciation of particular kana characters. They also become larger so that readers can recognize more easily which mark is attached to the character. As for other glyphs, which have similar shape to other ones, we emphasize the difference to help readers distinguish one from another. For text composition, we made kanji a little larger and kana a little smaller because these two have a different role in reading. Kanji basically brings you information and kana is just a phonogram or a conjunction. 
This different size gives readers a good reason that supports comfortable reading experience for Japanese. This is actually a technique continued since Typesetter had been developed. After we released the, the fonts to 24 weights in four different styles, we got many requests from the market that we exhibit scientific evidence regarding legibility and readability of the typefaces. They said, yes, it looks readable, but we need a paper that proves the readability based on objective analysis. In typeface design, we know designers' skill and experience are quite important. Perhaps we can keep going just believing in designers' experience, but we decided to demonstrate readability by academic research on Universal Design Fund. We commissioned Yasushi Nakano, professor of psychology at Keio University, to research the topic. We conducted a study on some features of a typeface, such as readability, legibility, visual attention, and impression, and selected readability and legibility as a primary topic to research by the comparative method. Let's start from readability. We made a prototype of a chart for comparison of readability of fonts based on a MN Read J chart for Japanese, which was developed from original MN Read created by the University of Minnesota. We had six specific conditions for MN Read J. The charts were organized under the unified conditions, including sentences difficulty and line lengths, for example, limited word lengths, limited number of voice sound marks, no duplicate words, and so on. The charts were organized under the, oh, sorry, uh, the examinees are physically unimpaired, but we created an uh, environment using a ground glass diffuser to simulate high and low visual acuity. A chart was placed 30, 30 centimeters away from the eyes of the subject, and the subject was asked to read, asked to read each sentence aloud as fast and accurately as possible. The seven types of text were prepared for charts and used randomly by font and subject. The test was conducted in a room with no outside light influences so that the charts were evenly illuminated with a certain light intensity. We have compared readability among nine typefaces which consists of other companies' UD fonts. This is a result of a readability test I'm now showing uh, top, of, top five ranking of nine. Reading accuracy shows the smallest print that can just be read, measured in log MLR, which is character size expressed visually and transformed logarithmically. Result of the test, the lower the value, the better the readability. Critical character size shows the smallest character that supports the maximum reading speed measured in log MAR, the lower the value, the better the readability. Maximum reading speed is a reading speed with the optimum character size measured in character per minute. The faster the speed, the better the readability. The table show the top five fonts for low visual acuity. As a result of scoring old studied fonts in descending order by category, under both high and low visual acuity conditions, Mincho type of UD fonts, which is Japanese serif, UD Raymin, achieved the higher reading efficiency than other fonts. Next, legibility. Characters of the fonts were presented one by one, measuring the recognition threshold and reaction time. As with a readability test, high and low visual acuity conditions were simulated using the ground glass diffuser and the recognition threshold, which means the smallest print that can be read accurately and reaction time were measured by displaying <coughs> one character at a time in the center of the computer screen. Here is legibility test result for low vi visual acuity. 
I'm showing top six typefaces of 12 typefaces in each letter. The recognition threshold value of each character type of the studied UD fonts were higher than other fonts for both high and low visual acuity. For low vision in particular, Morisawa's self-styled UD, UD Raymond scored the highest among the fonts com compared to proving its excellent legibility. One of the biggest purpose of this verification is to find an effect or influence on people who has low visual acuity. It means people who is hard to define letters precisely rather than other people. We also made readability tests of condensed UD sound serif fonts using peripheral field loss simulator. The result says that if the character size is large enough, narrower condensed fonts are more readable for people with peripheral field loss. In the <coughs> post-test interviews about the preference of condensed fonts, 7 out of 10 subjects responded that condensed 50 was the most readable, while the remaining 3 answered that condensed 60 was the best. One of the main reasons was that the, their narrower width allows reader to catch the next character more easily. <coughs> the overall result indicated that when taking character size into consideration, Morisawa's UD fonts were more legible and efficient in reading than conventional fonts for people with visual impairment or difficulty. We disclosed this report on the web, unfortunately it's only in Japanese, well, anyway, make our primary customers, such as printers, can develop their new clients with showing this document. Let's take a look at the example how UD font is used, a uh, bar of chocolate, actually this size, and the, the back side of the package. There is an ingredients label which is regulated by the law. This expresses food safety of this chocolate and it is only one of the example of UD fonts. There are so many published documents, magazines, and books which are printed with UD fonts. In the past, suitable typefaces has been selected depending on its design. Also, following the case of UD fonts, we are assuming that, co that customers place more value on typefaces' functionality and effectiveness than before when they choose typefaces. I think much more effort will be required, but it is possible to develop a new font product by doing a research and typeface designing in parallel. This idea is not supported only by the universal design. In 2006, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities was adopted and has been ratified by many countries. This tells us that we should make every effort to have information available to anyone without any difficulty. To achieve it, we will be responsible for providing information such as better text color, readable text size, text layout rule for better readability, all of which are common knowledge among designers, but may not be common among other customers or users. Without these basic considerations, customers cannot maximize the potential functionality, so font foundries should get ready for it. Finally, let me have Champon again on this talk. I think that Champon always tastes good tastes good because its ingredients are not simple. Its, its complexity creates a value. However, even if one ingredient is good, things never create a harmony inside complexity. Likewise, font is just an ingredient. Only one ingredient will never make champon. I think that giving good recipes to users and continuing communication with them will create a new opportunity to find a new customer because everyone is not an experienced chef or designer. I hope my session will help you to know what is happening in the Far East country. Thank you for coming and listening to this talk. Thank you. Very much. Do you have any questions? I have a very brief question.
question. As far as uh, efficiency goals is considered, I understand the, the fact why you know researchers and scientists tend to uh, conduct research in a very neutralized, you know, no sunlight, no you know distractions on the walls, everything pure and neutral. I understand that in terms of efficiency, but how? How? I mean, do do you feel like it's a bit in a way inefficient in terms of the result, and it tweaks certain results because? It keeps the person in a, in a strange mood. They, they're not used to. It. So, how do you deal with this? What is the? How do you evaluate that that so, aspect? You know, so you know, the keep the keeping the condition is for just you know scientific uh, research. So I know, like uh, yeah. this is something like Herr Dunger mentioned in his and so many other uh, designers and researchers uh, mentioned in their publications. Like in while you were reading, uh, Unger mentioned this. Uh, compare like versus uh, a neutral research area versus your comfortable cozy chair in your apartment and research versus you're aware of it and you're not aware of it how right. do you take those things in consideration? Well, yeah I think it's a good point and but you know the many customers who is not you know experienced typeface design uh -huh. is the m much more one to this kind of you know, the documents. Mm. And after that, we can consider the what you said. I see. Okay. Do we have... Okay. And thank you for your cooperation. I'm going to give you the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the chocolate. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you.